Hello, Donna. Welcome back for the part two. Uh, it's what eight p.m. for you around that time. Yes, or seven. Yeah, just just past ten past just seven, seven roughly. All right. So let's start with how has your day been? It's been awesome. I've been actually quite flat out today. Just been filming and editing videos for TikTok, as that's like my main platform for advertising, for growth, and everything at the moment. So I'm putting a lot of energy into that so that's through my brand tiktok as well as my personal brand as well so just been going flat out trying to upload three to four videos a day on each account um keeping those that content different just been like that's yeah it's been really busy doing that it's a lot of videos and a lot of different it's a lot of oh, how do i say it's a lot of different things going on Cool, cool. Okay. So have you been into TikTok since we've last spoken? Because I remember that was your breakthrough at the time. Uh, yes. 10K within three days because you yeah. started posting on TikTok and that blew up. So ever since then, you've been scaling that? Yeah, it's, and it's been really consistent with on TikTok. So I've had big days again, not as big as that, but just being consistent, like con sales, sales every day. I don't think I remember the last day where I haven't had sales. Um, <laughs> And now I'm sort of steering my brand into a different a different kind of thing. I was doing a product, like a device. Now I'm heading to a more of a consumable type of thing now because I've got over like, I've only got 7,000 email listings. So now I want to start selling that onto people and hopefully that brings back more and more more business and repeat business. Mm -hmm. Right. Because it's easier to sell to people who have bought from you before than to new clients, correct? Exactly, exactly. Prospects. Okay, so is there figures you could reveal? Are you comfortable revealing since yeah, so, that last interview? Yeah, so last interview, I think I was at 75,000. I th think it was around there. Over 100,000 now with revenue. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I would have to look it up. I think it's 110, 115 now. So it's mm -hmm. still been pretty good. Um, and now with this new thing I'm bringing out, I see my sales could drip, like going through the roof with it. Good, good. Okay. So would you say the decision to quit your high paying job last time, has that paid off? Oh, hundred percent. I've got so much more time to put into, I was actually thinking about it today. I was doing videos and I was like, if I was, if I was working full time, the only day I'd get off would be Sunday. And I said, what I'm doing in like every day is I'm like, like making content every day if i was full, working a full-time job i'd only have one day to do that so for seven days i would it would, it would like in theory take me like two two and a half months to actually make that amount of content and it wouldn't even be as good because i'd be doing it all in one day i'd be tired and everything because i'm working a full-time job so best decision ever made right now like i cannot see myself going back to full-time work uh, yeah, right. I, would, I don't think I'll ever see myself going back, to be honest. Because right, 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 right. yeah, once you've learned that sort of skill, I mean, I'm pretty sure, it, would you call it recession-proof income, e-commerce? Yeah, or no? I, I could say, because you, you can just follow, like if you get something that's consumable, something that's going to, people need, then you, you'll go through, it, it will work through everything. Right. So yeah, going back to my point, if you learn a skill like that, I mean, at that point, it's even more safe than having an actual nine to five job because people perceive that as being safe, yeah. but recessions come and so many people get laid off. Whereas this it's an in demand skill to have. Yeah, well, well, what I, I'll, I'll finish with this. So what I've found is you can sell something and then you can, like with one of my, my brand account, I sell something with my personal account. I create content that's interesting, funny and stuff. So you add that other light for people. So if you can make people laugh and grow an actual fan base, a following for people that genuinely care about, for say Dana, they care about me and they want to see what I'm doing, they want to see the content I'm making, then that leads again to like recession proof because if you're like a creator and they people would genuinely care about you, they'll buy whatever you sell. They'll buy whatever you whatever you advertise, whatever you promote to them, they'll buy, no matter what. Like no matter what the conditions are. Because they want to they want to feel close to you. They want to feel like, like they want to feel like they're helping you almost. Mm -hmm. Right. So Building, so you're saying you're building a personal brand now as well, is that right? Yes. So I'm just trying to create like a, yeah, I want to something, 
I was like something different. So I was thinking, all right, cool. I can focus my personal brand on doing one thing. It could be explaining like e-commerce stuff. But I said, that's very niche sort of thing because only a certain amount of people want to focus on that. And then like, if I go broadly and I become something that's has talks motivational stuff, talks about self-care, has comedy aspects of it, has real life aspects of things that people are facing every day, has solutions to that, have just like, an overview of everything because I've been through a bit of shit. I went through, I was heading down the wrong path for the majority of my life until I suddenly shit happened and I got pulled out of that to realize what was going on. And majority of people in today's day and age are going down the wrong path that they think is right because society makes it seem like that's the right path, but it's not. So if I can shine the light on that as well, show people that I did that. I managed to hit the anchors and, reverse up and go to a different path that's actually working people can do that anyone can do that i was just a normal kid i wasn't a normal bloke or man that was doing that and then i realized a lot so anyone anyone can do it Mm -hmm. great love that so what would you say has stood out to you in those four months in terms of maybe things you've achieved or what you've done that you could update us on it is everything is a lot easier than it is made to believe. That's what that's a massive standout. I just look at a broad like an aspect of I was always this is going like I was always daunted about edit, editing videos, creating videos. I could like, oh, how do people make them so good? How do people make stuff like that? How do they do the camera angles? I was like, I, I, I can't do that. And I was like, hang on, I've got all this time in the world. I actually can do it. Let me just give it a crack and see spend a day focusing on editing stuff like making a nice video make it come clean I'm like well that is super a lot easier than you think you honestly like you it blows your mind like i should have done this like two years ago and that's the same aspect with like look at e-commerce as well that's always looked like a daunting thing like oh, you can't do that like i remember looking at like drop shipping two three years ago and i was like that's 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 not for me man that's way too hard and now doing it, it's like the easy, it's such an easy thing. All right. It's easy to succeed in it. Mm-hmm. And a bit more on actual events that have taken place in those four months that have stood out. Actually, like financial event, like financial events or not necessarily financial, say- just any milestones, accomplishments, that kind of thing. Like I don't know where to start because there's been a lot that go that like a lot's happened. Um, mm. I've been the majority of the time just focusing tro- solely on myself, so building myself as a character, building myself as a person. So that's going to the gym, cutting out. I've already I already cut out stuff like a couple of years ago, but like keeping on like the same path. So I'm not doing like alcohol, not doing drugs. Don't go out on Saturday nights. Don't party. Don't do unnecessary things. Don't watch adult stuff. Don't like pleasure myself or any of that kind of stuff. Just focus solely on your, on myself, meditating, reading, just anything that benefits me, benefits myself. And I've noticed that that over the last like four months, five months, even like six months is you become so much stronger, so much stronger in the mind, so much stronger overall. That you can handle all these little situations. Your, eyes, your, your mind actually becomes open to a lot of things and you see things for what they actually are not for what you think or what they what people make you make you think things should, should be you actually see it for what it should be and that's been mm-hmm. a massive like for me a massive eye opener a massive like breath like a relief like oh like i'm glad i can see this now i'm glad i can feel like this i'm glad i built myself like this mm-hmm. yeah once you can overcome the law of short term gratification and as you strengthen your mind over time, it gets so much easier to focus on the things you want to focus because the other distractions are just, they, they just don't come to mind. Oh. Whereas I know in my past as well, when I was more into stuff, which was short-term gratifying, they would be in the back of my mind, something that's come up, then they distract me. But now it feels so good because I'm just wholly focused on my goal with pretty much no distractions. And I'm guessing it's similar for you as well. Yeah, you become so much stronger. You don't, you can like, I, I barely go on social media. I go, barely go on Instagram. Like I have an account, but I like, barely go. Maybe once every couple of days I'll go on it. And you scroll through it and you go, like, 
the stuff you say on that, it's like people, it's like, there's like thirst traps, it's like whatever they want to call, but it's, you can see where people get sucked in and you're like, you look at it and you're like, like you stay, you clear yourself away, away from all that. You focus, like you said, solely on yourself, solely on the, your long-term gratification, your long-term goals, building something worth meaning and something that's going to benefit you, benefit others, benefit a lot of things, then just do the short-term fulfillment. Like it's not, it's not worth it. And you always feel shit after and like you do stuff. If you go have a go out for a party or you drink, you always feel shit. Like the next day you feel sad, you feel miserable. You feel like, Oh, I've just wasted this time. I'm like, it's not worth it. None of that stuff's worth it. Right. Now, what would you say to people who would say working so much is excessive and you need some time to relax? What I'll advice say, or what yeah, things would you, you say? Work on the right things. So you can go and flat out and work on something that's completely irrelevant. Like I could go flat out and work on, oh, I don't know, writing a song or something, something that's not, not any use for me and spend hours on that and then I get nowhere with it. But if you work on stuff that's actually going to help you, like, okay, you work on your, you break it up. You work on your e-com brand. Like my website's all done. So I don't, I don't, I don't I pretty much just make videos. So I make content, I'll be like, all hours of the day doesn't matter when i'll make content but i'll stop for like an hour between because it gets draining sometimes when you're constantly looking at your phone and editing stuff so i'll sit i'll meditate i'll relax maybe half an hour to an hour and when you're in that time of relaxing you actually clear your mind and you you create a better video you be creating you create a better product you get better ideas in your mind to succeed to working again for the next couple of hours instead of just like i've done it tried to every hour of the day flat out constantly trying to do something and like post as many videos as I can. And it's always never worked because I've rushed him and I've missed little details that have made the video shit almost. It made it like, oh, I could have fixed that up. I could have done this here, which you pick up when you actually just take the time to sit back and see what's like, think about it. Like another thing I noticed, like when you rush stuff and you force yourself to get stuff out, it never works out. If you get to a point where you're frustrated trying to do something, stop. Take literally sit for five minutes. It's all it will take five minutes and a couple of deep breaths and just, and you'll see you'll have a clearer mind on approaching that situation. Mm -hmm. And you spoke earlier about meditation as well. Yeah. What kind of meditation do you do? Is there a specific technique you use? I know this is maybe off topic, but is there a specific it's, it's, technique you use or is it just simply look for that? I, I always, it's like always 20 minutes in the morning as soon as I get up. And that's I, this is another thing I'll add in. I don't in my bedroom where I sleep on my bed. Don't have a TV. Got rid of that. Don't have my phone in the room when I sleep because I notice if you you, you want to get yourself a peaceful night, you don't want to wake up at two in the morning and check your phone. Stays in the other room. Yes, it's on. I can hear if it rings and stuff if I have to, there's an emergency or something. But no phone in my room. All I have is an alarm clock. So I wake up. Don't have an alarm. I just wake up naturally like six o'clock, five thirty, six o'clock. Half an hour of meditation which is in the morning awesome. After that, you get yourself just sitting on the floor, legs crossed, complete silence, just listening to the thoughts in my mind. And I do the same thing at night right before bed, 20 minutes to half an hour, just sitting on the just legs crossed, sitting on the ground. And then other ones I've found, if you do want to lay, actually lay flat on your bed, you can do this like right, but you can do this actually right before you go to sleep. And this is where I've had the best, I've actually got a book here. This is like full of, it's just full of actual ideas because what I do is I lay there, I go, okay, meditation, don't want to think about anything. And then you'll just see ideas just fly into your brain and then I just write them down. Like there's so many ideas and so many things I can do. You just need like more time to do it, more people to help do it. But it's, it's crazy what, what that can actually do is taking that time to get in touch with the inner self. All right. How I see it is, you give your mind some time to filter everything that has gone into it through the day or through the past few days. As if you're constantly distracting yourself with whether it's music or social media or other things, then I mean, it's just constantly information input into your brain without time to process it properly. And for myself as well, I found meditation has helped me filter through those thoughts, which has improved my speaking improved emotional control as well i'm not sure if you noticed that for yourself yeah and a few other things as well so as would definitely attest to being a positive for me yeah. too
Like I agree with the, with the beat thing with music as well. That's it. I used it as a, a massive distraction for me. I used to like every time I had to, everywhere I'd go, I'd have to like play a song or listen to something. I was like, hang on, there's a reason why I'm doing this because I don't want to hear what's going on inside me. So I just now I minimize my time to like for music. Like, well, it won't be an hour a day if that. Like, and I'll, I'll play it. And I'll just like relax and do something, like work or do something with just the music in the background. But yeah, when you notice distract certain distractions, like then you know like oh you're doing this every time like you're doing this certain thing there's a reason so you like you step back and you actually say all right cool i'm doing this because i don't want i'm feeling uneasy about this certain situation and you can actually work through that situation with meditation and actually clear it and feel so much more free and so much just open-minded more it's like the the third eye you're so much more like conscious about what's going on all right so didn't expect we'd get into meditation discussion but here we are uh, hopefully it was useful now where do you, what other plans do you have because you've been doing e-com for a while now do you plan to um, to move into crypto as well to multiply that income whether it's yeah. crypto or stocks or something else yeah I've, i'm actually in the crypto course as well within the real world so i've been more, like doing the shifting stuff i think they just put out a thing to sell everything so i currently sold everything but it was cool like, this is actually another th- I actually had a win with it, which would be good to say. So I've invested in crypto last year and I invested like 10 grand, like pretty stupid of me. It was down to like fuck, like two grand, $1,500 by like December at the end of the year, like lost most of it. And I was like, well, do you know what? The real world's got the crypto campus. So I'll join that, went through all that stuff. I'm cool. I'll just, I've got $1,500. I said, it's already in crypto. I'll just put it all into Ethereum and just see what happens. I like sort of forgot about it because I was like, it's something that I just didn't pay attention to it. And then it actually went up. I made like a thousand bucks. And then I looked at the, the, um, the chats and it was like, oh, sell out. So I sold out. I'm like, oh, it's the first time I've actually made money with crypto. Like <laughs> I actually made like a thousand bucks. It's like, mm-hmm. it's over the wall, it's not much, but it's like, oh, it's a win. So then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, now yeah. I've got like 2,200 or something. I don't know. It's, a, it's like double my money in crypto now. So next time we have to buy in, be able to buy twice as much. And then just keep going. That's the problem with investing when you don't really have a proper strategy. You just end up buying and holding and then you don't actually know when to sell. Maybe yeah. in the moment you're thinking, ah, when it gets to that price, then I'll sell. But then it gets to that price and then emotions kick in and you're like, yeah. no, I think it will go higher. I will hold it a bit more. And then you said end up not selling. So definitely good to have. Whether it's following the professor signals or learning it for yourself, I mean, yeah. It's clearly more advantageous than just holding and never selling. Yeah. Like it, it actually is. And then you continue with what you said, what else am I thinking of doing? I said, look, I want to obviously create a, a brand and I want to like start like branching out, like build something for myself and then branch out and start like helping certain people, helping others, help just help people be generous with what I've been gifted, what's happened to me and share just my knowledge with everyone and people just to help everyone else succeed, help people get through tough times in their life, just, just generally be a caring and helping person because I do feel like that is a very fulfilling thing. And that's something that if we all helped, if everyone who succeeded or something, like, actually started helping people, then you realize that you actually be help, help majority of the world. Like everyone just needs to help, just, just start helping, I guess. How I see that is, I mean, maybe this is something I may have, maybe I haven't said this before. Okay, so I see us as having souls and just being connected through those souls and what our soul is is it wants to as in what it wants to do is explore it wants to learn new things and help people as a deep love for people but then something like as you're growing up just imagine, okay, going back a bit, imagine yourself as a kid when you were six years old, you love to play, you love to build new things, you were creative, everything. And then over time, you became more rigid, quote unquote rigid, because of ego. And yeah, growing up, uh, you become too, too aware of what other people think along those lines. Now, if you can just purely, if you have a healthy ego, then you can tap into that soul and what actually is fulfilling to do. And one of those things is helping people. If you have a healthy ego, then you'll feel great helping people because again, it's something that is just ingrained deep within you. 
Yeah. Did that make sense or was I rambling? Yeah, you, 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 you worded it better because I'm very spiritual with a lot of, I'm very spiritual with everything. So we are like we're souls having human experiences on this earth. So yes. with that, if, you, if you can get in touch with your soul and your ego's your ego is your biggest your ego can just is the your worst enemy or what? It's your worst enemy, your ego. But- there's a balance that you need an ego, but you just need yeah. a healthy ego. Yeah. You don't need it's, to completely yeah. remove your ego. Yeah, you, I mean, you, you, yeah. you balance that over. Yeah, balance that. And then with that, yeah, help, helping people and just do just being, I don't know, just being like a, just a caring, just be mindful of everyone else as well. Like people that want help will listen to you. People that generally want to be like, want a change in their life will listen. The people that don't, won't listen and they'll obviously become haters and stuff, which is normal, but you just wait, don't waste your time on that. You just keep following the people and helping the people that generally want to make a change in their life. Mm -hmm. Right. Cool. Again, meditation, spiritual stuff. I mean, didn't expect it, but love to (laughs) discuss. So is there any more to add there into where do you see your life heading in, let's say another three to four months so we can do a re-interview and see how, how that was gone. Three to, yeah, three to four months, look, I only, this stuff, uh, this consumable stuff I'm releasing, that will be, look, it'll be a big seller. And I should get that all, fuck, in the next month, three weeks, I actually get receive it all. So it'll be soon. Um, once that goes and starts selling, that's, like, that's fully, like, I'm doing it professional as. I've got all personal branding, like, on the box, on the packaging, on the shipping stuff as well. Everything's, um, I want to make an awesome experience for people to actually buy it. I want to give away stuff with those orders as well. So it has like a little gift or something for everyone. I really just want to do a professional from the very get go and just build that as like, that's, this is my brand. This is me. This is my whole thing now. Step Stepping away from dropshipping because that was a great start to get me into e-com, learning how to do things, learning how to advertise, learning how to write stuff, learning how to test products. And just learned a lot of stuff from that. And now stepping out into an actual personal brand and with a product that's yeah, going to sell. So, yeah, big things to come in the next four months for sure. And now on a personal note, what kind of impact would you say Tate has had on you? Oh, massive impact. Ma- massive. Just we need as a as a 25-year-old boy, um, I, I used to, this is what Man. I used to always say, I used to look up to celebrities, okay? I'd look up to the likes of like, Justin Bieber likes of like the male figures, okay? And I'd be like, I can't be like that because I don't, I can't sing. I don't know how to sing. I don't know how to, they've been gifted this opportunity to create music and do this stuff. And I, there was no one to actually look up to that was sort of in the same boat. And I was like, I was always like, what the hell? Like there's no one. And then Tate came along and it's like, okay, there's this guy that's showing you like the truth about everything. And this is, and it's so resonating with just what he says is so true. You're like, oh, that is actually true. And it was like so uplifting to say, oh, there's someone out there that actually is speaking facts and he's motivating. Like some of the stuff he says was so like motivating. I'd find myself like in the gym and I'd be like, fuck, I gotta do like five more because I could just hear Tate's voice in the back of my head for some reason, like just telling me. I was like, I gotta do it. And then you just you're so positive. Like it's it's crazy, but we needed that. That is something that we needed. And it's look, I know it's helped so many people and it's going to continue to help people. Mm-hmm. It's an interesting thing what you brought up with the gym <clears throat> because when I go to gym, I listen to Tate's podcast, but I tried at one point listening to an audio book. I think my output was maybe 40 to 60% in terms of usual strength. It just feels so different listening to Tate's voice compared yeah. to anything else. Like it, for some reason, it just has the energy behind it. And it yeah. conveys through the screen and as an on to you. So, yeah, it gives me energy boost as well. Just yeah, as it, 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 you, it's you interesting. Like, huh? shit. And it's exactly the way he says it. You're like, fuck, you're like, yeah, that's, like, that's cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so in terms of catch up, I'm very happy. Uh, great to hear that you're doing so well. Everything's going well for you. And in those four months, all that progress you've had. I think I've also seen... You do an interview with Sartorial, so congratulations on that. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. And the final question is, for people who are still unsure about joining the real world, maybe they're thinking it's a scam for $50, what advice would you have to them? 
Well, I've been in for the real world now for almost a year now, I think, April, yeah, almost a year, and it's not a scam. I managed to quit my full-time job that I was working six days a week for. It was consuming my whole my whole life. I'm, I've quit that. I focus full-time on e-commerce, creating a personal brand, and actually building the life that I want, not the life that someone else wants. Like, it's... If you haven't signed up, like you haven't signed up yet, you're missing out. Learn e-com, learn, don't even learn e-com, learn one of the trades, one of the skills from the campus and just see where it takes you. You never know until you try. And then you try it, stick, stick, stick with it for two, three months and give it a fair crack. And then if you realize, well, oh, it's not right for me, it's not right for you then. You, it, fair enough, like you gave it a crack and didn't work out. But you just get to stick with stuff. Like people just expect it to happen overnight. It doesn't happen overnight. All the success stories come up you hear about it overnight, but the, the roots to it have been going on for months and years underneath the ground. So you just be patient, keep learning new things every day, and then yeah, you'll you'll see what you'll see how far it gets you. So definitely sign up for the real world. Great. So uh, thank you for all the insights and your time. Now, for people who want to find out more about you or contact you, where can they do so? Uh, Instagram. That's go. I've got my thing is it's you put a link in, in the bio. We we'll show a link yeah, on the well, Yeah, Dana Di Paolo. So D A N A D I P A O L O. And then from there, you have like my TikTok links. You've got, I think, yeah, I think it's on my Instagram bio. But yeah, go through Instagram. That's the best way to contact me. Got it. So yeah, we'll add that to the description of the video. And yeah, Dana really enjoyed the catch up and i look forward to the part three in another three to four months yep perfect thank you so much thank you so much for having me on again it was a pleasure